Hello internet friends and welcome to the third part of this video tutorial series where I'm showing you how to create this character you're looking at in Flash. So in the first and second part we did the nose, the eyes, the pupils, the ear and the brows and in this part we're gonna continue on and complete the face and starting with the mouth which is the last element. So we're gonna select the line tool in Flash and uh, all we're gonna do is just, you can grab the rectangle tool or practically any drawing tool. But I'm gonna start with the line and select the four in the width of the, the stroke of the line and just create a line like so, just clicking and dragging. And with that, just uh, grab the selection tool and curve it like so. So if I make that invisible, you can see we already have a mouth for the character, but we have on the final product a mouth like that that shows the te teeth. God, that's a hard word. Um, and you know, we're gonna make those uh, sort of lines that the mouth, the mouth expression forces to create that goes outside of the shape of the face. Face that looks, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna make that and just modify that. Uh, let's start modifying that line. We're gonna create a new point. Just click and hold Alt and make a new point like so. And let's uh, let's uh, move that uh, point of the line like so. And just start moving, moving lines, moving lines. Uh, <laughs> okay, and um, yeah, just click that snap to objects button, that little button that's on the the bottom uh, left, and just uh, join that point with that one. That's that uh, little button helps you with that, just joining things. And. Uh, by the way, not just lines, so practically and practically any sort of object. Now I'm just uh, you know looking around at our uh, original drawing just so I can have it uh, sort of similar. You know, it's gonna be a bit different, but the essence of it is quite uh, quite the same. And now what I'm gonna do is just with the line tool make a few lines like so and like so and yeah, just the same thing, just making the teeth of the character. That's gonna be pretty simple. And what I'm gonna do now is uh, select everything I have. By the way, if this happens when you select everything and you also select, for example, the nose, just shift select it again, that deselects when you select it. So it's, uh, it's uh, similar to what we did on the year on the second part. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch it. So select so like that and let's Jose Boca and we continue our Spanish lesson. Boca means mouth and uh, just double click and go inside that symbol and uh, we can do uh, various things. We can do, yeah, let's do the, the lines, the expression lines. Again, inside the Jose underscore Boca uh, symbol. So just make a line and uh, I just made a point there as you can see on the middle of the line and just made a curve on the on both ends of the the curve so um, yeah just make a smaller line there and we have our mouth uh, now we have to do you know tinker around with it a bit do the uh, convert lines to fills effect and you're gonna see what what happens there I'm just gonna fill this but it's not working so what happens we go to gap size that little button there it says small close gap let's select that nope it didn't work let's select medium gaps and it worked so when you fill something and it sort of fills everything you didn't want to go to that little button so now it's select everything modify shape convert lines to fills and that happened so why did that happen uh, it happened because as you can see the lines on the teeth are not connecting with the line of the top of the lip mouth thing so in order to fix that um, It's uh, it's actually pretty easy. We have to make them overlap like so just click and drag click and drag and overlap And as you can see this point is already overlapping so it's not a problem And let's just select the thing that the residue is that a word? Yeah, have to look that up. The the thing that you know that is on top of what we want. Yeah, that's a lot of explanation. But uh, yeah, just like that part that's left and deleted, it's no big deal. And now I sort of did that with a hotkey you didn't, you didn't see, but it's already already converted lines to fills, and there's no more problems. So that's uh, that's done. And I'm just uh, tinkering around with the lines, you know, 
just with the selection tool, making little points and pulling them around, it's gonna make you uh, create that effect. So uh, yeah, just a little bit tinkering, tinkering, oh, another hard word. Oh, but anyways, let's uh, continue on. Yeah, another thing you can do is just move shapes with the arrows over your keyboard. It's what I'm doing right now, so um, that's a pretty good trick as well. And just with a bucket tool, let's make his teeth white, just uh, just because. And another thing I did on the original drawing is just grab, as you can see, the squares of the teeth and just move the corner a bit to the right, just so that we don't have, you know, we have a little line quality on the lines and make it a bit a bit more interesting, a bit more uh, graphic effect. I don't know, I think maybe more disgusting or something. I don't know. I, th I think it looks uh, better. I can play around with those teeth. I, could, I should be a dentist, a cartoon dentist. Oh, awful joke. Okay, we move on. And uh, yeah, this is what we have right now. So practically to finish the face, uh, which is a bit different from the original, but you know, we, uh, we're seeing the same stuff. We're gonna make the, uh, the sort of face shape, I don't know, the head shape. We're gonna select the circle and for the stroke, let's make it a bit thicker, so it's gonna be an outside line. Make a six and, you know, on the same layer, you don't have to add a new layer, just make a circle. And the reason why it's on the bottom of it is because Flash is a rule that says that if, it's, if everything is on the same layer, the symbols are gonna take priority and be on top. So since the circle we just made, it's not a, it's not a symbol, and everything else is, then it's gonna be on the bottom on the bottom of everything. So that makes sense. It's and that's convenient to us because we want it to be on bottom on the bottom of the symbols because um, we want to we want to be able to see how how the face is going to look. Okay. So uh, yeah, I hope that wasn't confusing. Um, but yeah, just start with the selection tool, moving uh, the shape of the head that we're creating. And by the way, you could make a new layer, you know, put it on the on the bottom. I don't know if that's correct to say on the bottom. But you know, you know what I mean. You could make a new layer, but I don't think it's necessary. You know, just, uh, just don't select symbols. <laughs> Simply don't select them. But you know, if you want, create a new layer and draw your uh, head on that layer. And uh, you know, at this point, it's, it's just adjusting the the shape. As you can see, since we, uh, um, I keep repeating this, but since we created all the symbols separately, we can just move them around, uh, adjust them. And right now what I'm doing is just going inside, double clicking, going inside the mouth and just making uh, a line there to make a similar thing like with the nose where we uh, put the skin color there. As you can see, we don't have that problem. We can have that going outside and that uh, skin color we put there, it's gonna cover that white white space that was in there. So that's um, a thing to consider when making uh, mouths. And just with a free transform tool, I'm seeing it needs to be a little bigger, the mouth. And, um, you know, just playing around. Like I said, the uh, I use a lot the uh, the directional arrows on the keyboard, just because you can, you know, modify it slightly things, you know, if you're a, if you're a, if you're a, if you are, <laughs> God, if you're a detailed person, you're gonna love that that uh, keyword thing. And a good trick to know if you're doing like things correctly is to select everything and go to Modify Transform, flip horizontally. And if it looks really awful, then you're making things wrong. <laughs> I don't know what else to put it. Um, just so that you can see that you're sort of kind of making things right. You know, I'm not saying it's an exact science, but um, it's a good reference thing, you just flip the character and you're like, oh, this, I don't know, the nose looks awful or something like that. And right now, this was sort of an accident. I double clicked under the nose to fix something and I moved that and I liked how it looked. It looks like the inside uh, thing of the nose. The, oh, no, I don't, I don't know that word. I'm not gonna, even gonna try, but the nosal thing, I'm just pointing that, um, those lines I made just pointing out the where I think your light is coming from. So every shadow, we're gonna create a shadow for the uh, the nose, you know, inside inside the nose symbol, 
um, sorry if I'm going kind of quickly here. Inside the no symbol, we created a new layer and just made a circle with a black opacity and modifying around. So if at any point you sort of get lost of where I am, like I said before, on the top left, it's gonna say on what symbol I am inside at the moment. And right now it doesn't say anything because I'm not inside a symbol, but you know, for future reference. And um, yeah, so that's the, that's the head. Once you have sort of something you're comfortable with, um, just double click that thing and let's hose it cabeza, which means head. So it's gonna be on top of everything because of the rule that I told you, symbols go on top of everything. Since they're all symbols, the new symbol takes the priority to be on top. So you just move that to the bottom. You can go to transform, arrange, and send to back if you don't have the hotkey to move the symbols on the same layer to the bottom, okay? So now the pleasure of selecting everything and naming it Jose Cabeza. Okay, so that's a really gratifying process, converting all the symbols you have to one symbol. So then we can move the pivot of that big symbol to sort of where it connects with the neck. So now we can do the, you know, the rotating head thing, saying yes, okay. Um, and if we're gonna modify, as you can see, I double click and went inside the symbol and it says we're inside Jose Cabeza and then I double click on the ear and it says we're inside Jose Oreja, which is the ear, which is inside Jose Cabeza, which is inside the flash document. So that is the hierarchy we have right now. End of part three. I'll see you on the next part.